Hi, I'm Greg, and you're watching DIYPoolPlans.com. I don't expect that you're going to know how to build a pool, but we're going to teach you how to manage your subcontractors. And it starts right here with this checklist. Today, in this video, we will cover the inspection checklist for Gunite. And you'll get a first-hand look at how a pool is built. Verify with the Gunite contractor any changes, umbrella holes, or water features you may have added. Specify with your Gunite contractor the area for rebound, which is leftover Gunite. Check to see if a gunite inspector is required by your sitting. Once gunite is placed, make sure to water it two times a day for seven days. So as you can see, I'm standing in the entrance to the swimming pool. I'm standing on the first step and I'm stepping down into, onto the second step, but it's actually more than that. It's a swim step, a reef step, a shamu step, however you've heard it. It's an area where you can put chairs, you can post umbrellas, the kids can play. And in this one, the water is only going to be about 16 inches deep. Um, we could make it out of the first step and have it only about six inches deep, but this uh, configuration as the second step seems to be a little more popular. So you can see as the step progresses, we come down here and uh, you'll see that the third step into the shallow end of the pool is just below it gives us our three steps that drops into three and a half uh, feet of water here in your shallow end. So you can see we're down in the bottom of this uh, swimming pool. We saw it before when it was steel and plumbing. Now the gunite uh, is complete. There's some items down here I want to show you. It's not on the checklist, but I'd like for you to know what you're looking at once the, the shell is complete. The first thing I'm sitting next to here is a light niche. And um, the light niches come with these covers because the gun eiders will actually shoot gunite right over top of it. I pulled this uh, tie wire off and chipped the gunite away from it so I could expose it for you. Just by uh, removing this cover, you'll see the light niche behind me. This will house the um, pool light eventually uh, once the uh, pool gets plastered. Here is the skimmer. It's a basket that uh, sits on the side of the pool. You usually see a cover over top of it on the concrete. It takes the surface water, the leaves, the bugs and whatnot, and um, collects them in a basket that's on the other side. But um, that's what this looks like now. And at some point later, this will all be tiled and our plaster will come up to about here and the water level will sit in the middle of that uh, skimmer area. You can see some form boards behind me. We'll go over that in a little bit, but this is uh, part of the concrete decking that's gonna be poured. Some of the items on your checklist, one of the items on your checklist is uh, checking the pipes that are in the pool. Some of these pipes are returns or uh, suction pipes like the bottom drains. On the checklist is to make sure that these pipes are level. And you can see now um, that there's you know six plus inches of concrete holding these pipes in place how important that is because they can't really be changed at this point in time remember most pool builders don't actually build swimming pools they manage subcontractors that build each phase of the pool with DIY pool plans by your side we're gonna guide you through the process of managing subcontractors to build your pool thanks for watching DIY pool plans Dot com. Join us on our next video when we cover concrete and tile.